I'm a huge fan of sustained silent writing. You know, I think one of the things we've done really well as educators has been reading initiatives. Sustained silent reading in a classroom, brilliant. But what about the writing? And in the schools I'm working with, we're bringing back sustained silent writing. Five minutes every English period, five minutes every social studies period. Because, you know, think about it. Teachers often say to me, you know, my, my kids are switched off writing or, or the, they don't have much confidence when it comes to writing. Sustained silent writing is your intervention to build the confidence, build an enthusiasm, once again, a joy of writing. So what's the strategy for sustained silent writing? Here's an approach that I found works. For the first two weeks, let the child write about whatever they want. Your job in the classroom is just to reclaim the joy of writing, of expressing your ideas with a pen. Very important, after every writing session, you get the students to read to each other. Writing is written to be read. They need to read it to each other. Teachers often ask me, you know, how can I improve the editing skill of my kids? Your first entree to improve the editing skill? Get the child to read out loud. When you read the piece, you naturally hear the things that need improvement. You hear the, the things that are great, you hear the moments you've fluffed it as well. Two weeks in, I want you to start teaching sentence styles. You know, teach the very short sentence, teach the W start sentence. And then you say to the child, okay, look, when you do your sustained silent writing piece today, try using a W start sentence in there somewhere. Off you go. Now you've moved from writing anything you like to actually practicing skills. And the fluency in your classroom will start to build. About week five, week six, make one final transition. Now you can use sustained silent writing for reinforcement, topic reinforcement. You say to the class, Hey, you know last week we went, we went on that zoo trip? This time sustained silent writing? I want you to write about the zoo. What was the most interesting thing you saw that day? All right, and by the way, when you do, make sure there's a W start sentence in there somewhere. And now you've got all three elements in play. The, the time, the air, the space to write. You've got practicing the skill, and you've got topic reinforcement, working in synergy. Yes, of course, you know, dip out and dip into those days when you just...